Uh, hello, Mr. Amish. Hello, uh, Melissa. Um, um, I'm here to give an interview. Uh -huh. um, I'm here to ask you why um, you teach all the children um, coding and mathematics and me with video editing. I mean, that's a good question. Uh, face when I was young, when I was a kid, just like you, I didn't have somebody to teach me knowledge, okay? I started work on the computer, not just work on, just to use a computer, when I was first year at university, okay? When I was in high school, when I was uh, grade 10, 5, 6, I never know oh, where to switch on, how to work with the computer. So I went through a lot of hardship as far as uh, learning technology and computer. You know what I'm saying? So when I started working on it, uh, I know there's a lot of kids going through very hardship, hard time on curiosity on how to work on the computer. So I felt like, oh, let me start a project or on giving the knowledge back to the kids who are in need and the kids who they might be in need, but they, because most of people in need of their learning knowledge, but because of the environments and influential sometimes, some of them, they don't want to tell you I need it, but when you expose them to the computer uh, uh, knowledge, you know, or computer fixing, or editing, or coding, or whatever knowledge, they start to fall in love with it, okay? So the reason why I have a lot of uh, kids or children just like you, Melissa, because I've seen it, right? When I met you at FaceTime, we started with math. But the moment we started recording, you see, you fell in love with it. That's why I give back to the kids who are in need or kids who are struggling and learning knowledge because the world is changing nowadays. Everything is about computer and uh, math and uh, technology. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, who inspired you to um, become what you are today? Uh, I'm gonna be very honest with you. I'm not gonna uh, make. Okay, there's uh, one musician who have the similar background just as me. His name is uh, Mark Miller. He's original from New Orleans, and his story is very similar to mine. He was raised by his grandma, and he was coming from a very rough background. You know, the neighborhood where most of his friends either the dead or go to jail. You know what I'm saying? So. At face time, when I look his uh, his documentary, I got very inspired. His name is Master P. Uh, he's a basket. He's the face basketball player musician. He's uh, uh, he have uh, he giving back. He have a project where giving back to the community. He's uh, he's a millionaire, and uh, he's the entrepreneur. Uh, he's a musician. He's an actor. He's a director. And he do a lot of things, so I learned a lot from him, you know. So he inspired me a lot, I'm not gonna lie, you know, about giving back because a lot of things I feel like, okay, as a, I'm a black man, because most of us, we, I'm not saying we're not, but the moment we graduate or people get job, they don't go back to the community, you know. Either if somebody comes from, let's say, I'll give an example to Cape Town, let's say, uh, Kailich. If somebody get a degree, get a job, he's moving to Gudu or better neighborhood or suburb. He's not going back as a project saying, oh, let me go and give back, helping another kid. They go on a proper weekend, drinks, and show people like I'm successful right now. So I take myself as a sacrifice. You understand, Melissa? Like, let me share an example. Maybe if when people see like, oh, that guy look like me. Or Melissa look like me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if somebody see you, you a uh, young uh, girl from, uh, you know, Neighborhood like a uh, uh, township or Kailicha or let's say Danun or any township, they're gonna get inspired like, oh, that girl she's black like me, or she's young like me, or she's from this neighborhood, and she did it, she do coding, maybe I can also do the same. That's why I do these projects, and that's how I go inspired by this. Thank you so much for your time, I appreciate it. Okay, peace.